Hey guys, Mastering in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showing off one of the new Dragon Ball Heroes units that is going to be dropping on global uh, Monday night US time, Tuesday morning for me when we finally get the world mission uh, units and that is this Super Saiyan 3 uh, adult Gohan. So uh, I do like his character sprite. He's a very cool looking card. He's got a uh, Actually, let's float you off because I want you on the other to rotation. Uh, he's got Piccolo's outfit and uh, he looks very, very cool. So, let's go ahead and just see what we can get on this first turn with no support units. He does boost his own attacks. So obviously, in the subsequent turns, his attack stat is going to grow and grow. But, wow. Yeah, so, <laughs> thanks to the type advantage in this first stage. He's just taking absolutely zero damage. Uh, his Dokkan Awakening, super, super impressive. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty decent start. Uh, let us bring up the overlay here now and quickly go over what he does while I go through this uh, next rotation here. So, this is the unmeasurable super combat power Super Saiyan 3 Gohan Teen. This is obviously the Awakened version, which we should be getting the Awakenings. They're all in the um, database now and uh, shown on the DBZ space schedule. So, I mean, it's pretty much like 99.9% .9 confirmed that we are getting not only this unit, but that he is going to have his Awakening straight away. So, his leader skill, int types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense, 80%. Obviously, that's pretty outdated, but you're probably not going to be using him as a leader at all. Uh, his super attack, the Hyper Masenko Wave. Weird name, but I, I like the animation. I like the fact that he has something unique, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it does supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for nine turns. So it's not an infinite stack, but it is a 30% raise, and nine turns is still pretty good. So he's going to be able to get his attack stat nice and high. And then his passive, full power unleashed. So he gets attack and defense 100% just at the start of the turn, just as standard, which is pretty decent in and of itself. And then he gets an additional attack and defense 60% when performing a super attack. So once he supers, his defense is going to shoot up and uh, he will tank really nicely after a super attack. So his link skills, this is one of the things that makes him so good. I mean, he's already good. That passive, 160% attack and defense, very nice. His link skills, Super Saiyan, Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, experience fires, over in a flash, limit breaking form, shattering the limit, and his categories are hybrid Saiyans, Super Saiyan 3 and Goku family, as you'd expect for a Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. So his link skills are what make him so good because one of the best units on the Super Saiyan 3 team, and you'll see this rotation here, uh, is the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku has experienced fighters, which is a 10% attack link. Uh, obviously they have over in a flash and limit breaking form, because they are the typical Super Saiyan 3 links. But they also both have shattering the limit. So this Gohan gives 3 key. And then because of Super Saiyan as well as experienced fighters, that's 20% attack. And then limit breaking form is, it's only attack plus 2000 when super attack. So once you get to enough key for a super, it'll add that bonus on top. Kind of like the Kamehameha link. Um, so that is a lot of links. So looking at the rotation here, you can see we're pretty much always going to have another unit with over in a flash in the last spot. Uh, and so by putting this Goku in the middle and this Gohan first, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku already has 14 key. <laughs> so he only needs 4 key to get his 18 key super and bam, there we go. So no worries there. And obviously Super Saiyan 3 Goku LR is very, very good defensively if you don't get his 18 key super. Um, so unless you get, I guess, unless you get huge clusters of orbs that you can't avoid, it's always going to have, you're always going to have the option to only pick up one or two and uh, still be able to tank really well. So f 4 million attacks that on Super Saiyan 4 Goku with no support unit on the rotation. So that is pretty, uh, pretty damn good. So it's one of the things that makes this Gohan so very valuable and why he is one of the sort of main targets that I would like to pull from the Heroes banner because 
it's always obviously every LR will have one or two units that are ideal link partners for them but you don't want to run a unit as a link partner who isn't that good themselves and they're only there to bolster the LR because whilst you are of course boosting your LR and making them better you then have another unit on your main rotation who is not particularly good so before we got this uh Gohan, well, I say before we got it, we technically don't have it yet, but before we get this Gohan, technically the best link partner for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku was the physical kid, well I say kid, the GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, who's here on this rotation now. And that is because he is a support unit and he has Shattering the Limit, so he gave quite a lot of key. Um, but he's, you know, an SR that awakens. Um, so he is really not very good. I mean, you look at the uh, look at the stats of these two units compared. 35,000 defense compared to 82,000 defense. And this is before he super attacks. And then, of course, he does stack his attack. But his attack absolutely dwarfs this guy. So, yeah, we now have a much better unit to soup up our LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Bardock got stunned by Vegeta, so... We can go all out and get the 24 key super attack with Goku. So yeah, 2 million attack stat. Um, that GT Goku is only a support unit for tech and physical. So he is not getting any support to this Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. And we broke a 2 million attack stat. So not bad for uh, a non Dokon Fest exclusive. Uh, like I said, he is probably one of my main targets. Um... Like, we still don't know exactly how the banners are going to work, but it will probably be um, guaranteed. Let's do that. Guaranteed, featured per multi. Um, so, Gohan is going to be one of those featured units unless they massively change the banner from how it was on JP. Which means, if you do get lucky and drop a couple of summons and manage to pull a copy of him, um, he is going to be very, very good. Uh, the Trunks is also very good. I will be putting out a video showcasing him as well. Um, I might do one for each of the uh, featured units. Because there are a lot of unfeatured units. Uh, <laughs> and it's they're obviously much harder to get. But to kind of reinforce why I think it's a good idea to do at least a couple of summons on this banner. I will probably drop videos over the weekend uh, of... All of the featured units. So we've got Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, uh, Sealess, Great Saiyan Man 3, uh, Darkness Toa, and then the base Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta. Um, the Xeno Goku and Vegeta and Darkness Toa are just support units, um, but they are very, very good on basically any teams that they fit on. So. Um, Anyway, let's jump in here. We'll go into the start of the Harudagan event and get a couple of turns worth of damage and see what we can do. Um, grab those for you. Those for you. See, these are the kind of perfect situations that you really want for this team. Like, no attacks here mean that we're just completely free to go all out with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and get his 18 key super. And so Gohan, yeah, see, he's tanking for double digits, and this is before getting the extra attack raise. And first turn, he was on 1.8, and then second attack, 1.9, because he, of course, raises his attack. And uh, like I say, I think his super attack animation is very clean. And uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku easily going to come in here and finish it off, so... Let's get Gohan to attack one more time, and we should break that. 2 million attack stat now bear in mind like I said I guess I didn't really think about it when I shoved him on the team but this this GT Goku does not give any support to the Gohan he only supports physical and tech units so if you are going to run say the STR version of the GT Goku who can transform into a great ape he is a 30% attack to all allies support unit so that would be able to raise that Gohan's attack stat even higher. Although personally, when it comes to how I like to run my Super Saiyan 3 team, I don't like to bring him. 
just because it's I you know I like using the Super Saiyan 3 team I like actually using the Super Saiyan 3s it's really annoying when that Goku transforms into his great ape stage so let's see uh, we are getting attacked but we do have type advantage I want to see if we can actually land the dragon fist since it does extra damage to Harutagon and we would literally one shot him here if we managed to land it so yeah, 2 million attack stat, no support on the rotation. I guess on a harder mode like Super Battle Road, which obviously I will try once the units have actually dropped in the game, we might be able to get Bardock's uh, passive to activate, which is another huge attack support buff. Um, and so yeah, we would see, be able to see his attack stat rise even higher. I guess his best rotation is probably going to be linked up with Bardock, because I think Bardock actually has... Uh, experienced fighters as well yeah he does so technically Gohan's best rotation would be linked up with Bardock uh, with the STR great ape Goku on the rotation um, and being under the health requirement for Bardock's passive that would be a huge amount of support um, Oh wow, I didn't realise we were getting the Dokon attack already. I, I should have just put Gotenks in the front slot. But either way, I'm going to wrap the video up there because Harudagan is just do going to dodge all over the place. We've basically seen what Gohan can do. Even without building the team around maximising him, he can break a 2 million attack stat. So part of me was thinking as I was going over those units at the end here that maybe I should have built the team differently just to showcase just how high we could get Gohan's attack stat. But I feel like this is a more realistic showcase of him because this is actually the kind of team build I would run and as you could see we very easily got him to over a 2 million attack stat and uh, yeah very very impressed indeed so I'm going to wrap it up here we don't really need to see Harudagan dodge my attacks another 50 million times and so yeah summon on the heroes banner <laughs> so that is going to be it for the video guys let me know what you think of Super Saiyan 3 Gohan in the comments down below are you going to summon on the banner I'm a big fan of the Super Saiyan 3 team. Let me know if you guys are as well. And yeah, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The links are in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.